Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jack Ross, data analyst, YouTuber, and productivity expert. Balancing the workload of being a full-time data analyst, an incredibly consistent and high-quality YouTuber, while training to become a professional skateboarder, requires some outside help. And that's when I turned to meth. I mean productivity apps. Jokes aside, I've used nearly every productivity app on the market, and I found the workflow that takes me from procrastination to flow state in the fastest time possible. Let's dive in. My productivity workflow has three stages, and that's manage, plan, and flow. For manage, we're gonna be using Notion. The first part of any workflow is having an idea. So you need somewhere to collect and iterate on those ideas, and that's why I use Notion. The first place you land on my Notion is the video tracker page. And this template was developed by Thomas Frank, so you know this is pretty damn productive. As you can see, there's a video title where I have name of the video, followed by a status. As you can see, some of these are published, some are filming, some are scripting, when they're gonna be published, and some tags about them. And each one of these rows is actually its own page. So let's say I wanted to go to my first video. Inside, a list of all of the B-roll shots that I needed for that video, and whether or not they're gathered and actually inside the video. I have a section for my title ideas, a section for keywords, some research, and finally, a large section for scripting. The next page I have on here is a life board. Basically, everything that I do and want to do and want to get better at, I kind of track all the different aspects of that. As you can see, I have a bunch of things that I want to do that aren't started yet, and some of which I actually have plans for inside, and some of I have already started, like skateboarding, I have a couple of things knocked off this list. And I use these anytime I want to just go out and try to get better at something. I can simply come into this board, find whatever it is I want to work on, and say, hmm, today I think I'm going to work on my switch ollies. And that gets me closer to getting towards the goals that I really want to achieve. I also have a page for everything that I have archived and no longer use on a consistent basis, but still would like to keep. Like for instance, my 2021 job search board. When I was applying to data science jobs, I tracked every single application I sent in, and this allowed me to follow up with people really easily, and allowed me to always stay on top of interviews as I could just create a page inside here for each one of the prep work. I also have a page where I can just throw information that I think is cool called good finds. I do this so whenever I see something cool in the world, I can just throw it in here instead of having to remember it so I can go back to it later and try to extract some value from it. Another super pro level feature in Notion is the ability to make these awesome timelines. This is one of my favorite things to do when I'm unsure of what the next few months of my life looks like. And I've actually done that for exactly what's going to happen in the next few months. I'm gonna move out of the apartment that I'm in. I'm gonna move into a new one. And I've been able to actually visualize all of these different things. When I'm visiting my family, when different holidays are, when my company is shutting down and I don't have to go into work. Makes all of these things to where you don't have to remember them. I also have notes from courses I'm taking, at this point, I'm taking the part-time YouTuber Academy course by Ali Abdal, and I've taken some notes on the first live session, along with created a list of uploads that I want to do while the course is going on. And that is how I manage information. It's my idea collection system that is the first part of my ultimate productivity workflow. But now that we've mastered collecting ideas, we need to start acting on this. And that's where the plan phase comes in, but we need to move over to my iPhone. The next phase of my ultimate productivity workflow is planning, and this involves creating to-do lists for specific goals inside of Google Keep. I use Google Keep because it is incredibly easy to navigate, and it's a pretty simple app overall. Plus, it has integration for mobile and desktop. On the overview page of the app, you can only see unchecked boxes on your to-do list, which is really nice for seeing outstanding tasks at a quick glance. But you can also enlarge the note and see completed items. Another feature I love about Google Keep is that you can add images to your to-do lists, which works perfectly for this note about creating a thumbnail for an upcoming YouTube video. Since the task is fully complete, I can either delete it or put it into the archive folder. I'm gonna archive this one so I can come back to the thumbnail later. Another game-changing feature in Google Keep is the ability to filter by label. I've added multiple labels to each one of these notes, and as you can see, they are all labeled as productivity app tier list, so I can filter by that label and just see tasks related to this video. I can also get a little bit more specific and filter by any editing tasks that I have left. You can also edit the color and style of each one of these notes, and as you notice, my editing note is the same color as my post-production notes, and I would like to change this. So if you click on the note, you have the option to change color at the bottom as well as choosing some cool backgrounds. And I think the film strip background fits this one perfectly, so I'm going to add it to the note. And once I have a sufficient amount of work clearly planned in Google Keep, 
we can move to the final stage of my productivity app workflow. The final step in my ultimate productivity process is Flow, and the app I use to facilitate Flow State is Forest. Forest is designed to keep you on task and off your phone. So if you're someone that struggles with impulsively checking notifications or gets easily distracted in deep work sessions like I do, this app could be extra useful for keeping you in the zone. When you open the app, you're met with a simple interface containing a tree, a variable timer, and a tag. You can adjust the timer, and as the length of your working session increases, so does the complexity of your tree. Tapping on the center of the screen allows you to see the massive selection of trees you can plant, along with a time setting that lets you change the the length of your working session from 10 to 120 minutes. You can also choose a tag for your working session to describe what kind of work you're doing that will show up later when you look at the tree. After you've planted some trees, you can use the sidebar and navigate to your forest. In your forest, you can see all the trees you've ever planted and even filter by month and day. Tapping on the tree allows you to learn more about the work you did to plant it. You can see the tag you used and write a quick description about the work so you can look back at what you've accomplished. Back at the top of the homepage, we have a few different options. Normally, you can exit the app while planting a tree and the timer will continue running in the background. But if you're really trying to stay off your phone, then the deep focus mode will make sure of that by slowly killing your tree if you leave the app. And to get super hardcore, if you enable the plant together mode, then if one of your trees dies, then so does your entire forest. If you're really trying to stay in flow state and knock out your work, then these modes will be extra useful. And as a final bonus, forest lets you plant real trees. Once you reach 2,500 coins, which you can earn from planting virtual trees during your deep work sessions, you can plant a real tree through Forest's partner, Trees for the Future. Planting real trees doesn't necessarily make you more productive, but it does make you pretty cool. That was the productivity app workflow that takes me from procrastination to flow state, and I hope you can use it to make your day a little bit more productive. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you next week.